Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroom in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to go over the Record Store Day 2022 drop list. So this is essentially most of what's coming for this Saturday's uh, drop, June 18th, 2022. So the drop was kind of conceived as a fallback day for everything that wasn't going to be produced in time for Record Store Day. So these are all 2022 Record Store Day titles that didn't come out on time. It's a decent amount. I mean, more than I thought there was going to be, but, you know, production things kept getting put back. Oddly enough, some of the best titles from Record Store Day were put into this drop. But I'll kind of go over the list with you. Now, I'm still going to get some stuff in the next day or two that I haven't shown here because I don't have it yet. There's always some, like, super late edition stuff that, you know, they don't get till Thursday that they have to overnight. I get it Friday, and then it goes out for sale on Saturday. All the stuff that doesn't sell in store on Record Store Day uh, on Saturday. So we open the store at 8 o'clock Arizona time. But everything that doesn't sell that day will be online at our website the following day. So that's Sunday at 8 o'clock Eastern time. So no matter where you are, it goes on at 8 o'clock Eastern time. I think that's 5 o'clock Arizona time currently. So and there's going to be a chunk of it. I know certain titles, the more popular stuff, I got a ton. You know how I order. If you saw any of my videos that I put up for Record Store Day, I mean, I've got some massive quantity of prints, the Pearl Jam title, but let's show you what we got, starting with some of the uh, odds and ends, and we're going to consider this an odd. Keith Richards, Expensive Winos. This is a two-cassette item. Let's see. So we've got Talk is Cheap and uh, Live at the Hollywood Palladium, 1988, for you cassette lovers. So yeah, there we go. This is kind of cool. I'm not a CD fan, but I like how they did this. Uh, Billy Gibbons hardware, exclusive collectible tin case with expanded booklet. So, you know, CD, if you like CDs, it's a deluxe CD. For seven inches, thankfully there's not too many. We've got Sam Fender, all right. That is an enormous amount of money for this. $22, holy cow. And uh, what do we got here? Matt Watt, Funhouse. Limited to a thousand copies. So this is a Stooge cover, Stooges cover. Pretty cool, made by ORG. So this is $7.99 and this is $21.99. Like, uh, what am I missing here? I don't really have an answer for that, but yeah. Sam Fender apparently uh, values his music a little more than Mike Watt, I guess. We're going to go with that. All right, so I think one of the more popular titles of this record store day is Prince's Gold Experience. This is a replica of the promo that came out upon release. The promo originally came in a cardboard cover, just like this, kind of just like this. I did an unboxing of this, and one of the things I didn't mention is, so I got an original list. The original is on like a recycled cardboard, you know, in a recycled cardboard jacket. This is actually probably a nice white poster board, and they printed this faux cardboard on it to make it look like it's, I mean, it is, it is cardboard, but it's not that, you know, that recycled type cardboard. But uh, I think they did a little over 20,000 of these, but the originals of this, I got mine a few months before they really announced this, and I think it was 750, 800 bucks. I mean, it's a pricey record. They were numbered. These are not, which I think was a missed opportunity because the originals were numbered and it's a record sort of item. But yeah, Prince's, the gold experience that is going to be very desirable just because it's, you know, it's not in print. Another really desirable title, Pearl Jams, Live on Two Legs. Let's see, first time in print in over 20 years. I want to say originals of this are maybe 250 350 bucks. They were a little bit more before they announced this repressing. So this is going to be another extremely popular title. Again, they're making over 20,000 of these, but they probably made over 20,000 of the MTV Unplugged. And that's over 100 bucks still. Both of these I did unboxing videos on, so if you want to go back, you can see them. I also did a boxing unboxing video of a Miles Davis title. That's the only other title I did an unboxing of. We've got Victor Vaughn, MF Doom, the Vaudevillian Villain. What else do we have? A box set by Hassan Abin Ali. Retrospect in Retirement, the solo recordings. 
First time on vinyl. This is by Omnivore. It looks like this is a four disc box set for a reasonable price. Warrior Soul. Odds and ends. Limited edition of 2200 units on red and blue vinyl. I like how they use the word units, which would be, you know, industry lingo. They should probably have not put that on the hype sticker if I was going to criticize that. <laughs> All right. Voivod. What is this? Voivod. Nothing face. Pink and blue swirl vinyl limited to 6,000 copies. First LP reissue of this 1989 Prague Trash Metal Classic. Newly remastered for vinyl by Peter Moore. Virgin Prunes, Pagan Love Song. From Craft, we've got on Orange Vinyl, Heavy Rhyme, Experience Volume 1 of the brand new Heavies. Looks like a hip-hop, maybe R&B comp. Yeah, featuring collaborations by Gangstar, Main Source, Cool G Rap. Okay, the album Leaf, Past and Present, excuse me, Past and Future Tense. 2 LP, colored vinyl, 4 album art cards. All right, Dream Queen, the Bobby Hamilton Quintet Unlimited. This is a title that I'm probably going to get myself. Remastered by Bernie Grunman, resequenced uh, from the long lost master tape. Let's see, it says the album is an all analog transfer. This is from now and again. Soundtrack to The Big Night. First time on vinyl, Clist by Rossi Saraban. Crystal clear vinyl, looks like the first time on vinyl. Very white, no limit on love. This is on real. This is uh, numbered to 2250, copy 912. Young Holt Unlimited plays Superfly. Lost 70s Soul Crate Digger Classic. I don't know about a Crate Digger Classic. I don't know when the last time that's been in like the, the underbin crates. I, it's uh, not been the case for a long time. All right, The Residence. Warning. Live and experimental recordings, 1971 to 72, featuring the Boarding House Show. Feels like a 2LP set. Steve Hackett, the Tokyo Tapes, issued for the first time on vinyl. This also feels like a, maybe a triple. Yeah, this is a triple disc. Dearly Beloved. This is Daughtry. Hmm. Double, double disc as well. Gerald Way, Hesitant Alien, Record Store Day Exclusive Blue Vinyl. Peter Gabriel, Live Blood. That is kind of a morbid cover. So we've got the tip of a syringe with some uh, what appear to be blood cells. Ooh, very deep. The New Blood Orchestra, conducted by Ben Foster. Recorded live at the Hammerschmidt Apollo, March 2011. This is a triple disc for 40 bucks. That's pretty reasonably priced. I listened to part of this today as well. I did an unboxing of it this morning and I listened to disc one today. This is really good. Musically, this is, I mean, this is right up my alley. Uh, Miles Davis, live, what it is, Montreal, 1983. I mentioned on the uh, unboxing that this is John Schofield and Bill Evans. There's more than one Bill Evans, guys. This is not the Bill Evans who died in 1980, the piano player. Just FYI.
Yeah, listed on the back here. Bill Evans, uh, sax player. The Who, It's Hard, Half Speed Mastered by Abbey Road. The reason to get this, I'm going to assume, would be the, you know, the double disc, second disc includes. What do we got here? So we've got alternate endings, bonus tracks on disc two. Let's see. MNS front with vocal by Roger and Pete. I'm going to get this specifically for the bonus disc. Not that I need another copy of uh, that album, you know, but I wouldn't mind the bonus tracks. World Party, Sea View Records. This is the Curated by Record Sort A comp. They typically do one of these once a year. Auto Control. Featuring Faceless, No Mistakes, from Modern Harmonic. Double disc. Soul Jazz Records present 100% Dynamite, Ska, Soul, Rocksteady, and Funk. These are typically pretty awesome comps. As so are the Studio One comps. All right, what else we got? Almost done. Not a lot, not like Record Store Day, which was a couple of rows full. Let's see, Sun Signature. Let's see. Jetstar Records. The Soul Sides. Looks like another pretty good comp. This is from Sundays. Seems like a lot of the comps actually got pushed back to the fallback day. Let's see. Sweet. Platinum Rare 2. Let's see. Limited to 4,500 units. Two discs. Let's see. A little two disc final collection of rare uh, outtakes and demos. I actually dig the cover on that. Got a nice vintage vibe. So... We're really getting inclusive here with Record Store Day because we've got some bluegrass now. We've got Ralph Stanley and the Clinch Mountain Boys, the bluegrass sound. So, yeah. Limited to 1,500. But, yeah, there's some bluegrass. Far Cry from Record Store Day Pass, where it was mostly seven inches of indie bands. Richie Furre in the country. As a record store day, as a record store owner, if you're thinking to yourself, what the hell is half of this crap? As a record store owner, I myself am thinking, what the hell is half of this stuff? Okay, go ahead, punk, make, them, make my day. This is punk rock time machine set for the 90s. So we've got, so it's a comp. Let's see, the Vandals AFI. Guttermouth, The Offspring, Jughead's Revenge. I mean, I know a lot of this stuff, but there's a good amount of the record story titles. It's typically the indie records that kind of stump me, the indie rock stuff. The Paul Butterfield's Blue Band, first time on vinyl. Previously, uh, includes previously unreleased tracks by the Runout Groove. Is that a double or a triple? So it's a triple. The Night Beats, live at Valentine. Linda Hoover, the Lost 70s masterpiece, Unearthed. Let's see, Linda Hoover backed by members of Steely Dan. Let's see, feature songs written by Walter Becker and Donald Fagan, Stephen Stills. Huh. Interesting. Not familiar with this, probably going to listen to this if I can stream it. Okay. We've got Cali Uchis. Yeah, we're going to go with Cali Uchis.
Let's see, Sin Madio. All right. The Jerry Garcia Acoustic Band. Let's see, recorded live October 1987. First time on vinyl, limited to 7,500 copies. Looks like this is a double. This is another title that I'm gonna buy just because I'm not familiar with the record. I like the hype sticker. All Analog Mastering by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio, pressed on 180 gram vinyl at RTI with a tip on jacket. Let's see, we've got Esther Morrow, Sister Woman. This is done by Kraft, who did the, uh, is doing the Contemporary Series stuff. Sounds great, I'm sure that sounds great. Looks like a pretty good soul record. Just by the cover, it makes me say, eh, this looks like this is worth a try. It says brings together jazz, gospel, and R&B. Looks good. Actually, it's got Bernard Purdy on drums. There we go, I'm sold right now. Fantastic drummer. Here comes Fats Domino on reel. This is limited to 1,500. That's copy 521. Got a lot of calls so far on this collective soul title. Let's see, what is the name of this? Dis Discipline Breakdown. It says it is the first reissue of the platinum selling album. Remastered by Paul Blankmore at CMG Mastering. Lacquers cut by Kevin Gray at Coherent on translucent red vinyl. Tangerine Green, Alpha Century. And we have Tangerine Dreams live and live in rhymes. Cinema Opera, September 1975. Let's see. Double disc, like a blue and orange marble. Colored vinyl. This is by Culture Factory. Let's see. The Wailing Souls. Firehouse Rock. RSD limited edition, 24-bit, 96K remastering, plus bonus 4-inch, 12, excuse me, plus bonus 4-track, 12-inch disc. Fifty years of TV's greatest hits. Well, let's see what's on this. Includes the classic hits from Miami Vice, Charlie's Angel, Sesame Street, MASH, Star Trek, Mission Impossible, Wonder Woman, the Twilight Zone, Bewitched, Hawaii Five-O, and many more. I might have to just play this in the store to kind of freak people out when they come in. That would be a little bit, uh, yeah, well, it looks pretty good. We got MacGyver, Star Trek, The Next Gen, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Knight Rider. I mean, it's got new stuff too. Dexter, Mad About You, Sex of the City, Home Improvement. And then, I mean, it's even got Bonanza, Alfred Hitchcock, Perry Mason, Peter Gunn. Happy Days, Green Acres, Wonder Woman, Futurama, The Simpsons. Oh, man. This looks like a winner. 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Okay. Various artists. Ganja Anthems. Green Vinyl, of course. Limited RSD edition. And we've got, uh, who's putting this comp out? This is on VP Reggae. Classic album. Ray Charles, Genius Loves Company. I remember when Starbucks used to have this in front of like every register. They sold a lot of these, I'm imagining. Let's see, winner of eight Grammys, including album of the year and record of the year, double LP opaque gold vinyl. I don't know if this ever even came out on vinyl originally. I'm guessing it did, but I've never seen it. Elton John, Nora Jones, B.B. King. So it's essentially, you know, uh, a who's who came and did an album with Ray Charles. Field music, plum, 10th anniversary edition, clear plum colored vinyl. And we have the Go Team, Proof of Youth. And that uh, is gonna wrap it up. So this is Record Store Day Drop 2022. 
All right, guys, check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time.